Heyo, and welcome to another episode of Advanced Glitch Building, Blender Glitch Sequencing, episode number two. This episode I'm going to go over four different Blender Glitch sequences, two of which are great for spiral staircases, one of which is great for vertical circles, and the last of which is pretty much just good for the Blender Glitch itself. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first one, all you're going to need is a level wire. Keep in mind, the length of this level wire that you are starting with will determine the gradient of your spiral that you are creating for these stairs. You're going to need the power inverter for this. And what you're going to do is you're going to wire glitch one at each end of your wire, and then you're going to toggle to your wire and blender glitch from the outside of one to the opposite outside of the other. Depending on which side is the opposite, you're going to continue this trend over and over again, but you will need to make sure that your blender pulls are level horizontally. One of the ways you can do this is simply wire glitching another power inverter at the opposite side from your curve. That way your blender glitches remain level with each other each time, or you can do this method here where you blender glitch back back and forth and you actually will get two spirals spinning with the same curve in opposite directions. Just remember with this one you are always going to be pulling from the outside of your curve again to the outside of your other curve and then from the inside wire end connector which is actually the outside end of your previous one but it looks like it's on the inside of the one you just placed then back to the outside so you're pulling from outside to outside then inside to outside. As you can see, after a moment, you're going to have very, very nice ascending curves on both sides, from which you can do an uncountable number of things with. I believe here I'm going to show you just how simple it is to take a floor piece of any kind and snap it into any of the three available wire connector points on all of these power inverters to make a very delightful spiral staircase and very, very simply made. Now, moving on to this next one, it is essentially the exact same process, just with the um, small planters. Now, again, you can go from both sides, blender glitching from the opposite wire connector to the opposite side's opposite connector, and just repeat this process to get two spirals going in opposite directions at the same gradient. But with these, you can also spiral the other side at the exact same time. So you will have four different spirals all ascending up, two of which are adjacent to the opposite two in the same direction. If you do this, you can have four spiral staircases going up and around and meeting each other at a top point. Keep in mind that your pulls need to be on the same level or your stairs will not be level with each other. They will start curving up or down in a direction that you don't want. Make sure that you are always pulling from one location on the exact same level to another. This is another extremely versatile method that you can do a huge number of things with. This third method is brought to you from Lambs vs. Lions, a buddy of mine. He came to me with this very simple blender glitch sequence using the, the biofuel generator. If you have a level wire, wire glitch one into the base, and then blender glitch from that center point to its own connector on either side and then repeat the process from the previous one's connector to the next one, it creates a absolutely perfect circle that you can utilize any of those wire end connectors to glitch any number of other things into it as you want. This is extremely easy to do and extremely easy to make some crazy cool looking kaleidoscopes. So thank you Lambs vs. Lions for sharing this one. It is pretty awesome. And this last one, it runs off the same principle of just having a level wire and then glitching something into that wire and then blender glitching into its own innate wire connector. This time we're going to be using the bite beat device. Snap it into a level wire and then blender glitch from the start to the connector on that bite beat device and then repeat the process from the previous one's connector to the next one's connector. If you do this over and over and over and over again, you get a very, very interesting spiral effect that you can use for whatever you want. I just thought it looked cool, so I decided to throw it in here. And that will wrap it up for this episode folks thank you for watching very very much and i would appreciate a like and a subscribe if you haven't already let me know in the comments anything that you guys uh, think is noteworthy of a future blender glitch sequencing episode or anything else you would like to learn how to build i would love to make a tutorial for you see you next time